Here we are, about to cross the Dames Point Bridge, which bypasses downtown Jacksonville, on our way to Georgia. I was gonna wait until Georgia to put gas, but I'm kind of running on fumes here. You know what's on my mind? Georgia. Goodbye, Florida. Welcome to Georgia. Thank you so much, uh, Google lady. And there's a message from Eric. After spending some good times in Florida, we are now in Georgia. And while I'm here in the south, I think I'm going to explore Jekyll Island and then head north to the Atlanta area and the Georgia mountains. But first, it's getting late, so I'm going to spend the night here at the Walmart in Brunswick. I'm free in my RV yeah. Well, hello everybody, just arrived here at the Walmart We're just north of uh, Brunswick I haven't had anything to eat since that breakfast lunch uh, I had earlier And uh, we're gonna get a cold front here really quick So it's gonna be a nasty weather night So I'm gonna have some, some dinner I don't feel like cooking, so I'm gonna have one of these frozen meals by P.F. Chang's chicken and broccoli and hmm, really, really good. Is it gonna look like a separate sauce? It's just that. Yeah, the, the sauce comes first frozen. So oh, it looks pretty good. Bon appetit. Well, good morning. As you can see, we are not the only RVs out here. It's 48 degrees out there, so let's make some coffee. All right, let's go get some water here at the Walmart. There's blue skies on this side, so there is hope. All I really needed was water, so that's what I got. And we've got an Airstream International back there. Mini Winnie Class C, Allegro Class A, Dakota Ultralight, and of course, Mini Tini. Colorado changes with the weather. Today looks almost black. Yeah, I'm definitely calling it the chameleon. Chameleon, how do you like that? Oh, in Spanish, el camaleón. A chameleon better. All right, let's get ready to hit the road. Our first stop today is going to be Jekyll Island, of course. Then we continue north. Here we are on the Sydney Lanier Bridge, spanning the fancy Bluff Creek. Ooh, there's a toll booth. And it's all automated. Six dollars for cars, ten for oversized vehicles, but I don't see an option on the machine, so... Off we go. Well, yeah, I know, bad hair day. It was six dollars to enter the island. I wasn't expecting that, but um, anyway, it is what it is, right? Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to to pay for an oversized vehicle because I'm towing, but the machine said six dollars, so. And here we are, 
There is a very historic district here, but first, let's circumvent and explore the rest of the island. All right, let's take a break right here. Well, they got some Christmas decorations here already. Well, there it is, the Atlantic Ocean. Kind of makes me wish for better weather, actually. Although at least we've got some blue skies. It is all this hard, packed sand. And you can tell it is probably low tide right now. This is, by the way, right off the public parking lot of Beachview Drive. I believe that oceanfront residential area in the distance is actually located on a neighboring island called St. Simons, just north of Jekyll Island. One of these days, I am going to come back and I want to visit all the Georgia Barrier Islands. There is so much to see in this area and I just love to be here lingering in front of the ocean hearing the soothing sound of the waves crashing. Let's continue towards Driftwood Beach. And here we are. Let's take this uh, short trail here. This is Driftwood Beach we're going to. The most prominent feature here is the graveyard of sun-bleached trees, apparently caused by erosion, which made the soil unable to support life anymore, to support the trees. So they died. The gloomy day certainly adds to the post-apocalyptic feel of this site. Here we can see the St. Simon's Lighthouse. Well, this is the famous uh, Driftwood Beach here on Jerkel Island. The gloominess of the day actually kind of enhances the experience. Um, quite interesting, I'm gonna do some research on this. Uh, all these dead trees here on this beach. By the way, it's pretty cold. I mean, it's, uh, it says 48, but with the, with the ocean breeze, it probably feels a little colder than 48 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And um, yeah, check check this out. Check it out. All these dead trees is like they go on and on and on. It's quite beautiful in a post-apocalyptic uh, kind of way, isn't it? All right, let's get back to the RV. 
and uh, I'm gonna start going England from here. I was gonna visit Savannah, but I kind of changed my mind. Uh, I'm gonna head towards Macon to, through um, through one of the blue highways, if you will. It's not it's not gonna be an interstate, I don't think. And then from Macon up to Atlanta. Check that out. <laughs> this is awesome. Hmm, I wonder what that is in the distance, in the horizon. Okay, let me show you a different perspective. Let's continue. The campground should be coming along soon. The campground right here. So maybe next time we can stay here. It was pretty nice. This structure here coming up on the left is the Horton House, a fine example of tabby construction, which was an indigenous type of cement made of crushed oyster shells, lime and water. All right, let's go to the historic district. Sometimes it can be a challenge finding parking, you know, something that can accommodate the truck and the trailer. But if you are patient, something usually pops up, like this lot right here. Gotta love those Spanish moss draped trees. The first building we encounter here is the Sans Souci. This six apartment complex was built in 1899 by Henry B. Hyde, the Tsar of Jerkel Island. This was all during that time after 1886, when the island became the richest, most inaccessible club in the world. Besides J.P. Morgan, of course, and this became the winter retreat of Joseph Pulitzer, William K. Vanderbilt, and Marshall Field, among other. There's the Indian Mound Cottage, nowadays a museum. And there is another view of the aforementioned San Susi. This ritzy-looking building is none other than the Jekyll Island Club Resort. Originally, the clubhouse. A statement of splendid elegance. And it was here, at a secret meeting in 1910, that a plan was written to reform the nation's banking system and laid the foundation for what would become, eventually, the Federal Reserve System. Let's continue walking around the impeccably kept grounds. They have many signs all over the place like this one with historical information. And that's the bridge we went over earlier. Let's check out some of the other villas or cottages here on the island. This one is called the Crane Cottage, 
And apparently it is a very coveted venue for like wedding receptions. This one here is the Cherokee Cottage, all part of the resort. There's the Faith Chapel, established in 1904. Okay, it's $5 to enter, so we're gonna do it some other time. Beautiful trees. Everything seems to be closed today. There we are. Our stealth location. Yeah, that's a nice looking rig. The journey continues. For the rest of the day, I will be driving all the way to Ackworth, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. And that's where my brother-in-law lives and the rest of the family. And uh, why in such a hurry, you might ask? Uh, well, because the CDs have arrived and I have a lot of pre-orders, so I'm anxious to ship them all. And uh, then I'll be joined by Illy and we'll explore some of the North Georgia mountains. But first we have to get there, right? So enjoy the ride. Mm, pollution. While we're here, let's drive through historic downtown Brunswick and check it out. Eventually, we make it to this town called Baxley. I think it is time to take our first break. And when I'm on these roads that don't have rest areas, I usually just look for a Walmart. They have the large parking lots and probably won't mind if I just park for an hour or so and recharge. It is one of those gas stations where you get a different price for cash or credit, but... It was only three cents different, so I said, you know, whatever, screw it, let's do it. And um, anyway, I um, I showered here at the Walmart parking lot in my enclosed. Take the next left toward US 341 North Golden Isles West, then turn right onto US 341 North. Still have about a little over four hours to go on this uh, trip here, and. Um, I'm supposed to make a left, or am I not? I think so. Um, no, I'm supposed to make a right. No, make a left. Google, the Google Use the right confused. lane to turn left onto Golden Isles West, Golden Isles Parkway. Uh, well, okay, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying, I'm, I still have four hours left. It is about 1.30 p.m. And as I've said before, Many times I like to take a break in the middle of a long driving day like today and, uh, and just take a shower because it kind of resets your, your clock. 600 feet, turn right after O'Reilly Auto Parts, on the right onto Westbury Road. Uh, be take the next to make right a... after O'Reilly Auto Parts, yeah, on the, the right onto Westbury Road, then turn left onto Tippin Street. I'm gonna do something different because the Google lady doesn't know what she's talking about. Anyways, as I suspected, my ETA is going to be about 6 p.m. a little for a little later. Take actually. the next right onto US 341 North <clears throat> Golden Isles Parkway. But um, I did take a shower. I ate something. I did not have a Cuban Continue coffee. I'm going to have US that like. North for 15 miles. I'm going to have my Cuban coffee like last minute emergency, like in two hours, just for that final stretch from Macon to to to, um, to Atlanta. But. Here we are in um, 
what was the name of them? Buxley. Uh, it reminded me of, uh, of one of my former advertisers, uh, uh, Lisa Buxley of Custom Covers. Uh, maybe we should give her a call. Um, see if they want to renew or something. <laughs> Anyways, off we go. Four, four hours and 15 minutes to go and I'm <clears throat> losing my voice. Oh, by the way, I'm also uploading a video here using the Chevy uh, Colorado's um, uh, built-in Wi-Fi. Hopefully it works. You know, I'm gonna join uh, I-16 soon and then I-75 North. But a lot of the, the, the businesses around this uh, this road, like gas stations or if you go through a downtown area, are, are all shut down. It's, it, it's like everything is completely deserted. A lot of like barns, like in ruins. It's uh, it's interesting. I love taking these back roads. See us so, so much more. And I haven't been taking much video because I've been concentrated on the road. But hopefully the, the GoPro on the roof it took a, a, some nice shots. This is the home stretch. I got some Pilot coffee. An hour 43 minutes to go, which I'm gonna do non stop. And um, I was gonna say something else. Oh, yeah, gas mileage, hauling butts on the, on the interstate, like 65, 70 miles per hour, 10 to 11 miles per gallon. So, Turn right onto the ramp to Atlanta. So, your, your gas mileage is inversely proportional, proportional to, to your speed. But, so, the faster you go, in a quarter mile, merge onto I-75 North. Which we all know that, right? <laughs> Anyways, here I got my pilot coffee. Mm. It's alright. Colombian blend or something like that. Okay, let's step on it. I didn't do this for sure. <laughs> Atlanta, here we come. a long story short, I arrived that night at my extended family's place, and after socializing a little bit, I stayed up until 2 a.m. mailing CDs. On the next day, I moved to Sweetwater Creek RV Reserve, which is more or less equidistant between their home and the airport. In the afternoon, I went to pick up Ely, and we did enjoy some family time.
Isn't that interesting? Some kind of sublimation phenomenon here in my car. Yeah, very nice, crisp uh, morning here in the outskirts of Atlanta. So um, well, let's, let's go. Let's go to the mountains. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Check that out. This is perfect weather. Atlanta as we are on our way to Samash to get a cable. I Sam Ash Music Store because uh, I needed to buy a cable. I didn't come prepared to do uh, an, an interview for the podcast and an interview came up. So I needed one particular cable to connect uh, to my audio interface and uh, very nice, very nice people everywhere. Uh, people are very nice here in Georgia. Now we're going to the mountains. I'm going to begin by LJ Blue Ridge and then we'll see. I visited this area last fall. There's the campground where I stayed and uh, there are a lot of apple orchards and wineries all over the place. Here we are, Elijay, a small town of barely 1600 inhabitants, the apple capital of Georgia. This time around, parking is proving to be a little more of a challenge, maybe because it is such a perfect weather weekend. Here by the traffic circle, that's the Glimmer County Superior Court. And I want to go to eat at this place called Canterbury. Because the last time I was here, there was a long line and I couldn't go in. It is our lucky day. Found parking right here on River Street. This is the Canterbury. Well, here we are. Let's see what all the fuss is about. It is a Grasshopper Imperial Pale Ale. We got the chili. Yes, a chili and the famous Reuben sandwich. Well, that was the Canterbury. Not bad, but our expectations were really high, being so highly recommended. So. I mean, it was a good pastrami sandwich, for sure. And the chili, very hearty. Uh, now let's check out this. Um, they have some kind of festival or fair or far farmer's market or... I have no idea what it is. You look slightly familiar. Well, this is apparently the second annual Christmas market. Pretty cool and very timely for us to be here today. Some people say this town don't look good in snow. You don't care, I know. I
A coffee wouldn't be mad, but actually. You want a coffee? They have fresh fudge. Oh, there we go. We got some fudge with pecans at this place. That's what the other side looks like. Not a whole lot more for us to do here. Now that we ate, we're just gonna walk around a little bit around this uh, boardwalk area. Yeah, free wine tasting. Yeah, I wish we didn't have to drive. Wine tasting would have been nice. But we might go to an actual winery later. But yeah, everything around uh, along this boardwalk is kind of dead except kind of the place that is giving a free wine tasting scent and this little pub that has music. Alright, let's go back to the car, which is right there. We're gonna drive about 15 miles north towards the town of Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge here is the gateway to the Georgia mountains. There's a scenic railway, which we will ride one of these days. There's horseback riding, a bunch of waterfalls nearby, the Appalachian Trail, and wineries. Many wineries and breweries. Cool town, but it is too crowded today. Parking will be a challenge, and we want to do some more exploring around the area, so we're just gonna do a quick drive through here. I don't know if I've told you, but it is our intention to, at some point, buy a piece of land in this area. At least to have a home base, you know, somewhere to park the rig. So we're gonna do some exploring with that in mind. I won't lie, this is perhaps a little too rugged for my taste, but it is a start. We'll find the perfect place someday. Okay, let's head back down. We're gonna take a quick break here by the Stanley Rapids on the Tokoa River. We're gonna stop here by the RNA orchards and maybe get some apple cider. Here's the apple cider and popcorn. We wanted to end our day at Amicalola Falls State Park, but it looks like there might be a change of plans. There's a pretty bad wreck up ahead, and the road is closed indefinitely. Holy smokes. Yep, that looks pretty bad. Plan B, we are going to go to a winery instead.
This is called the Chateau Mystery Family Vineyard and Winery. Let's check it out. There, it says tasting room. That must be it. We're gonna do a tasting here at the very busy bar. After the tasting, we came to the outside patio enjoying the beautiful weather, the crisp late afternoon air, and some live music. Seems like a fitting end to our day. Sorry that I cried when I talked to you last night. That looks like a happy cow. Thank you much. You got a lot of requests to get to this set, though. We got some wine for tomorrow. Or some of one of these days. One thing I dislike about this time of the year is that it gets dark so early. On the next video, I am coming back to the mountains and we are going to visit Amicalola Falls and Vogel State Park, among other things. Good morning. Yeah, that train has been running all night. Check it out. That ice. Ha, <laughs> ha,